I know you guys are going to think this is a commercial, but it's not. These are a couple of products that I found that work really well and they make jobs, the job you're doing easier. Some people will say that they're not required and no, they're not required. Um, but a lawnmower is not required to cut your grass. You could use a pair of scissors, but it just makes it easier. Well, these tools are the same. What I have is a Strike Industries trigger jig. Um, it doesn't come with the grip. I put that on just for holding it. Of course, it doesn't come with the safety selector or the trigger, but it does come with a uh, hammer block. And I've already put the trigger in so you can see it in place. And it's nice to be able to put the trigger in and play with the springs, play with the sears, any work you're going to do. Maybe uh, play with the uh, trigger adjustment set screw underneath if you've put one of those in. Uh, figure out how much, how far you can go. Anyway, this is uh, to play with that. This is where it's from Strike Industries in uh, Santa Ana, California. There's the uh, code. Strike Industries AR Trigger Jig. The other thing I'm going to show you guys today is uh, k &S Precision guides, which are pin guides for putting in the trigger and hammer pins. And they're tapered pins with a push pin on the back and it just makes it easier getting it lined up and then getting it past the J-hook on the hammer. Um, and the, finally the last thing is a k &S hammer cage which makes holding the hammer springs and getting the hammer down into place a piece of cake. So anyways here we go. Um, of course the the sides are open, you can, so you can see what's happening, but that won't be available on your uh, lower receiver, so I'll do everything from the top, uh, so that, but I'll show you from the side so you can see what's going on. Um, first step is, of course, take the hammer. I've already installed it, and I figure this is the easiest way I've found, is hold everything away from you, hold on to the bent end, and then put it together that way. If you do, then it's in the right geometry for putting, sorry, excuse me, into the receiver because of course it needs to go that way. Right? Um, the first step is take the hammer cage, place it over the hammer and spring, and let me get my safety glasses. I think I'm working with springs and small parts. Again, safety glasses aren't required, but they're a good idea, and I like using my eyes, so safety glasses. Anyways, it's uh, basically bend the spring, hammer spring ends up onto the little shelves. And that holds it all in place under tension. And then when it comes time to drop it in, the hammer spring pushes out a little bit. So just squeeze it together and drop it into your lower receiver. You can see how it drops in. I find it's easier if you pull the trigger just a tiny bit or just pull the trigger down to the bottom. That gives you more room to work with. Um, now, of course, you're, unless you're using the anti-walk pins that have screws on the ends, your trigger pin will have a detent in the middle. Well, that gets caught on the J-hook. That's where these come in handy. So I'm going to put them in from the right, just because that's where I want these screws to be. So I'll put the um, guide pin in first, and that pushes on the J-hook and gets it out of the way. And then push with the pin I'm going to put in. And uh, on the trigger, on the hammer pin, it doesn't really matter, um, as I've been told it doesn't matter, as long as the J-hook notch is in the middle, which, of course, no matter which way you put it in, it's going to be in the middle. And then just push that forward. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it's stuck on the J-hook. A little bit of a tap. Piece of cake, and it comes out the other side. All right, now, so now the hammer's in place, and the springs are being held by the hammer cage. So the next step now is to take the tool that comes with the hammer cage and reach down inside the receiver and hook it over the ends and I'm doing this from the from the inside but you can see it from the outside and just lift them up I'm doing it kind of backwards here so it's a little bit harder than if it was doing it properly and place them to the sides down on the trigger pins and do the same on the other side. There's a little hole in the end. 
and you can see how it works. And there's plenty of room. So this is a trigger jig, which is, you don't want to do this on practicing it on, on your real receiver and scratch it up. But you can do it from down in here. It's pretty easy. Pull up, set it down, slide the hammer cage out. And the nice thing about this jig is you can test fire it. Of course, everybody says, don't let your hammer fall on your receiver. You'll damage your receiver. So put your thumb in the way. Well, could you imagine holding your thumb in front of that 200 pulls? Anyway, it works great. Uh, I highly recommend those three items. I think it was 25, 22, and 30. Uh, well worth the money. You can see how easy it is.